Good evening, um, everybody. Um, it's a pleasure, Faculty of Graduate Studies, uh, University of Morocco. Uh, we welcome uh, you to this uh, third uh, Lighthouse Talk. And these are presentations primarily on behalf of uh, those who are engaged in research, research student community, uh, to support them, to energize them. And by demonstrating from well-established, respected uh, leaders in their own way uh, in explaining things that they have done. So it's hopefully inspirational to the research students. So we have today Professor Mahesh Jaivira uh, joining us uh, in showcasing with the title is making up a research paper for impacting the readership, taking an actual research paper that he presented, which is very relevant uh, in today's times of COVID-19. Uh, he has published a couple of papers. He's taking the first one. Uh, so uh, that's, that's the objective. So I'll just briefly introduce Professor Mahesh. Um, believe that he's well known in environmental um, field. Um, no need, no introduction, but however, it's my duty, it's our duty at FGS uh, to introduce the speaker. So in briefly, he is a product of University of Moratua, graduating in first class um, honors in civil engineering, in BSc engineering in 1991. And then he proceeded to um, read his PhD at Saitama University in Japan and uh, PhD in the area of ecological engineering. And of course, uh, he's an expert in uh, something uh, in the noise pollution setting standards and um, um, in Sri Lanka. And in this particular area, he's a, really a specialist. But of course, um, without going into detail, I suppose he has touched on almost every project in, uh, in Sri Lanka in, in terms of environment and brown environment and development from East Coast to the West Coast to the North and South and in inland as well. So he's a person with wealth of experience, but touching on a point of how to write a research paper for this with impact. And over to you, Mahesh. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Prabhu Rajit. Uh, good evening to all of you, those who have joined. And uh, what I'm now going to do today is to just to discuss with you what I have done in the year 2020, and basically a kind of a review paper impacting basically the society. So, or in other words, it's a story of an agile leopard unfolded. Or in other words, again, I just want to tell you that I want to make every one of you an agile leopard. So that is my idea. So follow the photos of leopards uh, that you are going to see because that is exactly what I'm going to take out of you. The very first question everybody asks, why you want to do impactful research? That is very, very important from the today's context. But basically, if you're looking at, uh, you know, at your early career, you have no idea. You don't know where to, you know, go and you are basically nowhere, right? So that the right direction is not always on your way. So therefore, it is very important at that particular juncture for you to look for the better prospects. And also everybody looks like to have international recognition. So if you are to go for an impactful research, definitely the international recognition is your way. You need to, you know, just look for it. It anyway comes towards your direction. And also you get better opportunities for your postgraduate studies. Those who are doing MSCs can go for better PhDs. Those who are doing the PhD can go for postdocs. Those who are the basic degree can be able to find MSCs or PhDs direct. So therefore you have not observed, but you are open to the sea where there are plenty of opportunities available. So therefore try to do at least one good impactful paper so therefore you will see, you know, the sky is, uh, you know, yours all the time and you will find lots of opportunities in the world and also make you and your institution proud that I believe is one of your obligations. Always you must be able to make sure to, you know, bring you some credit merit to the institution in which you do, you perceive your research. So therefore, that is one of the obligations, uh, I believe, that each, ev every one of us should perform during our career development. And also, you're going to raise your institution ranking. 
that is another important fact nowadays so we have been you know working in different different universities but as an institution every institution would be happy to see that their name goes high so therefore you are the people who are going to help and it motivates for high quality research always if you get all these things definitely you are going to you know go for motivation and you are motivated and definitely you will result in high quality research but at the moment you are like a leopard uh, what is given in this right a lazy leopard still because you don't know what to do so remember this is not what i want from you now this is what i was in 2020 or maybe towards the 2020 sharing my experience with the recent paper published in 2020 all right so i plan i plan properly but i never you know expected to come up to this level but i plan properly so that gave me the you know the foundation to go further even up so therefore let us see what i have done and how the work i did help you get out of the ground so that is my idea today so if you are to you know see the paper and this is the paper that i publish that's called the transmission of covid 19 virus by droplets and aerosol it's a critical review paper on the unresolved dichotomy and look at all the authors of sri lanka i have had no connection with any person overseas when i you know wrote starting from the very first day until i finish everything was done by all four of us myself i did uh, most of the work I shared with uh, hasini hasini from jayawardenapura one of the uh, you know the research students and buddhika is my colleague from my division and jagat is also a colleague uh, both of them are professors professors and then they helped me to uh, you know to sharpen my work so that's how i you know made this group and then publish if you are to just to see what distinction achieve and this is exactly what i would like you to do you know so then definitely like this data you are definitely going to be a garland if you look at what i have achieved it was published in environmental research journal in september 2020 just one year exactly one year publisher elsewhere fairly uh, recognized a renowned publisher and impact factor was 6.49 almost 6.5 not very high not very low and it is indexed in sci expanded and skimago ranking is q1 in biochemistry and these are my accolades that i have achieved fifth most cited paper since 2016 if you just take all the papers in this publication altogether 3438 papers of all 3438 uh, i will rank fifth and when you look at uh, since 2017 i was ranked third and if you just go to the web uh, to this particular journal so you get the next one that is second most cited paper since first january 2018 others have another two more years to you know that but i had only one year but with one year i just passed all the others so i have now 300 citation in scopus now today as of today i have exactly 550 citation in google scholar and second from 2467 papers but don't you think that i'm so proud i mean being a sri lankan only working in sri lanka only with sri lankans achieve this is something that you never ever you know think of and then you are definitely going to be a proud if you do do the same and it is the most cited paper published since 2019 out of 1987 i am the first most cited paper published in 2020 that is for last year exact the, the the year in which i publish and then we have all together 1298 papers in 2020 and average citation for 2020 for this journal was 4.08 but in my case i have managed to go for 
300 citations. So that is the difference. That is exactly what I would like you to do. Sri Lanka, this I'm the Sri Lankan who got the highest citation for a paper written by Sri Lankans on any topic of COVID-19 until today. So that is again, I'm, I'm proud of because there are so many papers, altogether 37 papers now published as of today by Sri Lankans, but all 37, I actually managed to, you know, uh, be, be, become, become the first. Two interviews from international media. I got two interview calls, one from, uh, in fact, uh, the South uh, East Asia, the other one is actually from USA. So two interviews, more than 200 inquiries from the readership globally. So emails, I got emails more than 200, about 10 official requests for reproduction in other journals and reputed blogs with copyright agreements. So I have given uh, my permission, but basically it has to come from the journal uh, because they are the sole, uh, you know, the uh, authorities, but usually, usually they ask me as well. And most downloaded paper for three weeks in 2020. So that is again another achievement because uh, the always this is basically change in every journal. Every week it changes, but I managed to, you know, just become the the first uh, most downloadable paper for three weeks in 2020 and i got already a one commended letter from the elsevier journal uh the publisher and only four corresponding authors from sri lanka for last five years that is the stunning uh, you know the observation i made it's very pathetic our position is 54th in the globe in the globe and out of 85 so that out of 85 we have only 54th place meaning that there are only five corresponding authors from sri lanka now don't you think that we are at a bad wicket so this is exactly what we should be able to you know just bring up so my idea today is to just share my you know experience so that definitely all of you can be able to be an agile leper so that you will definitely result in better stuff so why don't you give it a try you every one of you can be able to you know give it a try but remember what is most important thing is no pains no gains also remember failures are the pillars of success and also what comes easy won't last and what lasts won't come easy so if you are to do an impactful research remember all three uh, idioms hold true so you have to go by all of these so therefore be prepared if you cannot you know get yourself prepared you are not in a position to you know come out with impactful research so therefore it is must for all of us if you have to plan what you do first this is what i say first thing is first so therefore always you have to you know look at so remember a leopard does it leopard doesn't go for any prey you know the moment uh, it sees it never really i mean follows it keeps watching and select the right and watch a couple of hours even so therefore first thing is first that is most important if you just fail in this your entire effort is going to fail so therefore we see what you should do look for an edge in the level playing field when you say level playing field everybody is basically enticed invited to play so that is you're going to be one of them you are talking of maybe thousands of people among them you're going to be only one so therefore you have to look for an edge in this level field if not found, go for an alternative way. You need to see another uh, method by which to achieve it. If still not coming your way, look for the way forward collectively with your peers, colleagues, and interns. And then definitely you will find the right way. When it applies to me, as far as this paper is concerned, I have had peer, 
I have had colleagues and I have had interns. My peer, you don't believe a very junior person. If you, I mean, you would be, you know, astonishing, astonishing to hear that it was not anyone else other than Professor Mettika from Java Dhanapur. I followed what she has done. So she was my peer for this particular paper. And I have colleagues, two colleagues, my, uh, you know, the other two uh, members of the staff, Professor Bundika and Professor Jagat. And I have a very interesting intern. So she is uh, uh, from, again, Sri Jayavadanapura University, Hasini, and one of the brilliant, uh, you know, girls that I have ever met. So without uh, Hasini, I would have not done this. So therefore, I got the right combination to now go ahead in the battlefield. And this was my edge. Now I managed to find my edge. Now what is my edge? I was in a lockdown. Oh, it is not only myself, the entire country was in lockdown. So that is a, one of the, I would say advantage, or oh, it is a blessing in disguise for me to now go for this paper. And I was not in the happy mood because everybody was like me. Stigma developed over usual work because right from the morning until the evening, even from the evening, the next day, the following day morning, you are at home, you know, basically uh, stuck in the home front. So therefore always the stigma developed. So that wanted me to do something different. Then I look for something completely different from my usual work. Then, all of a sudden, I heard the debate on SARS-CoV-2 being airborne, right? Because at that time, people were not aware. And then some people say that this virus is basically uh, airborne. Some says no. So then I managed to understand something is fishy. So I thought that that is a good area where I could be able to, you know, harm. So then all of a sudden, when I read, I got a very good uh, paper and I say it's a whole saga in one article called Airborne Transmission of SARS-CoV-2, The World Should Face the Reality. It was published in Environmental International by the world the best person in this particular area called Linda Moravaska. Right. So this article fooled me to run fast. So I got you know, I don't know how I got this uh, basically got and spun, fooled me, and then the interest and everything, you know, came on my mind. And uh, then I started, you know, thinking of this, why not give a try? So that is the basis in which I started my work as far as this paper is concerned. And very few scientists in, in this business by April, because it was in the early April, and then when I ransacked that I found only eight papers in Scopus, 12 papers in Google Scholar on COVID-19 airborne debate. So that is again another plus point for me because very few papers have you know, appeared by that time. And also my plus point was I am an environmental engineer. So I could be able to understand what other people you know, have done. So therefore that also helped me a lot. And in a time period where high quality articles accepted within two to three days, don't you think that is amazing? Nowadays, you can't get it done within two to three days. But at that time, articles were basically accepted within two to three days. So therefore, now I was 100% sure that I could you know, you know, run pretty fast. So that is another important, uh, you know, the attribute that I have looked for. And journals wanting high quality papers for enhanced citation, because at that time, it was, you know, saleable. And everybody wants to, you know, work pretty hard. If you come out with a good quality paper, definitely journals, you know, uh, try to, you know, grab your paper. And because, not because of anything, it is because of enhanced citation. And Elsevier, made all journals articles on COVID-19 downloadable free. It was downloadable free. Any article at that time you could download. So therefore it has gone the entire readership without any 
effort. So you need not to, you know, pay, you know, article processing fees, but pretty sure that it is available for each and every. So therefore, everybody is also going to go through at that time that is to know about COVID-19. So that is a good era or the time during which I could, you know, back fast. So therefore, that was again another plus point for me and had a reliable support staff as quarters and one to help me collate data and information that was Hassani, one to critically review that was uh, Professor Buddhika, another to proofreading that was uh, Professor Jagat Manatum. So I had the basically the right team. So therefore I had no issue in proceeding further. But remember, most importantly, what is important for you is the best attribute that I consider was my thirst for reading on novel development on COVID-19. But remember, only high quality stuff. Never read the blogs that you find in internet, no point. Always go for only high quality blogs. I will let you know later how you could find. That would help you a lot. So even now, every day, I read minimum three papers on COVID-19 every day it has now come to my blood so i have been you know doing it but remember all of them are best stuff in the world then only you're going to you know go for that because you're always going to compare yourself with them otherwise you're never ever going to you know just come out with anything useful so do it if you are not going to do it so this is the time for you to read if you read more definitely you will you know, provide more to the society. So there was a, uh, in fact, the edge there. So if you look at uh, the, you know, the the edge, and I would be able to, you know, let you know that I was like this. What is in the middle, right? Uh, normally, uh, like uh, leopard, but I was surrounded by cheetah, tiger, black leopard. Snow, le uh, snow leopard, all are fast runners. I was the very, but what I want to do is now to, you know, just run fast or to, you know, just target my prey. I need to conquer all of this. That was my mind at that time. Now, so therefore it is there, but what is important is you must be one of the mutations with the best selection like data variable. You have to be delta variant. You, uh, even now, if you are going to be an alpha variant, you're going to fail. So how you're going to be a delta variant is what is important. That is what I have given here. You have to have a desire to publish something unique, something very unique. Don't try to you know follow, don't try to do exactly what you have done maybe two, three years back. Don't try to do maybe your peer, what the peer has done, or don't try to do what your neighbor or colleague has done. So for that, what is important is hunger for something bigger prey. That is the, uh, the one of the uh, points that I want to raise as far as the leopard is concerned. Leopard never goes after a small prey. Whether, whether it catches or not, always it runs, it always follows a bigger prey. That is what you should you know, acquaint with, or that is what you should be able to inculcate in you. No matter, giants dominate in the battlefield. That is very important. Disregard strong ones, because you see something they don't see. Definitely you can be able to see something that your peers don't see. So therefore that is the one thing that you must always keep in your mind. Otherwise you are going to be getting discouraged. Never ever do that. Concentrate on the arsenal. You possess all your ammunition, whatever you have. Now be ready with your ammunition. Your skill bring you the best. That is the most important. You try to identify your skills. Try to you know that sharpen your skills and make use of your skills to come out with the better results. Plan for a better journal with impact factor at least 10. This is the most important part. At the end, you may not achieve it, but you must start achieving publishing in a journal, having an impact factor at, at least 10. 
meaning that look for a bigger target within many right if you are trying to you know you know see whether you can publish let's say 1.5 you are not going to achieve what you should achieve so therefore always target something bigger that would help you late i will come to that little later target a review paper as many read that is where you are going to score up now what i'm going to give you is how we are going to impact for you to do the impact you know the uh, the impact the society you must target review paper without a review paper you are not going to do it so therefore i'm not telling you that each and every paper that you publish must be a review paper but at least you must have a review paper done by yourself meaning that target to pray enough for many days if you publish one enough for many days now what i have been doing i i can i need not to you know publish any more for at least another one or two years because every month i'm getting more than 40 uh, citations every month i'm getting more than 40 from this paper only so i'm in a very comfortable zone so plan for that at least one paper think of doing it by yesterday but not even today that's some that's that's the attitude that you should always keep in your mind now when you look, when you look at the you know the leopard wait for hours near the prey sings the first sight sometimes more than 24 hours you are looking at the prey waiting 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 until the right time comes that is what you should learn that is what you should learn now in my case i have been now for this 2021 i have published only one paper why i i took nearly 6 months to prepare the data for one paper i'm i'm not worried because i did what i wanted but what my country wants that is what i did right but if i did maybe for something else i may be able to publish two uh, two or even three papers that is not what i want but i want the quality stuff exactly what that for that you as i mentioned it doesn't come your way easily so you have to go for that and it takes time keep away from slow runners injured and predators but be ready for final battle with strong colleagues because race is always on now you have been thinking a particular uh, topic many people are working on it many people are working on it so therefore you can't be too late thus know the doers and scams you must identify who can help you better and who can who cannot help or maybe the uh, corners or maybe scams scams is the better word basically they pretend that they help you but ultimately they won't so therefore remember selection of your crew is very very important for a successful paper it is always in your hands therefore you must be able to you know understand it properly learn from others you must learn from others for that be observant you have to be an observer you must be a follower and also you must be a failure if you fail then only you will learn otherwise you are not going to learn at all so therefore remember in my case i observe many and i have followed so many people and i fail many times so that helped me gather more and more newest way of thinking for publications better than what i have done earlier most importantly deploy you are the best tech uh, tactics before others that is what is most meaning be adaptive now to the situation you have to adapt yourself ferocious you have to be ferocious otherwise you are not going to be you know uh, say for example what i mean by the ferocious you will be working with your intern if internal you know says you sir adha mata karanna beluna heta karal den no no way with me if i make a deadline deadline is a deadline right so therefore what i want to tell you is the last one most importantly deploy your best tactics before others so that is very important for you to you know just come out with a good results in no time so therefore always go the entire you know this uh, the sequence make sure that your edge is for you if the edge is not for you you are not in a position to you know just go and then publish an impactful uh, the journal 
paper. So this is how I did it. I apply myself. So then you will able to learn it. Had a desire to publish something unique? Yes, it is. It was on dichotomy on SARS-CoV-2 being airborne. Why? Those who agree with this concept also going to read it. Those who don't agree with me or disagree with, uh, with this also going to read it. So therefore, basically, if I go for this one, both parties who are interested are going to read my paper. So that is a plus point. So that is why I have selected this particular word dichotomy. Oh, it, it was, I actually put another word called unresolved. Why? Because people, I need to keep, I need to always arouse the curiosity. So that is why I call it unresolved dichotomy. Initiated in the end of March, that was the time that I started, no matter giants dominated in the battlefield. So that is what I thought, because there were lots of, you know, the giants. Battle between me, remember this one, a very important thing for all of you to remember. Battle between me having only 450 citations by that time. I had only 450. Was us, uh, Moravaska, she is, the, she is actually Linda Moravaska, the number one in, in the world on this area, having 21,000 citations. You look at the look at the picture. I'm down, you know, small wildcat, and on the top, uh, she is very in a cozy place, you know, being a giant. But I I always went ahead and I, you know, wanted to, you know, go for a battle field. So sometimes you have to do it. But it is not easy. I mean, fighting or maybe go against or maybe uh, trying to say do the same thing that the Moravaska has done, it's not easy. So then I had to got myself prepared. Then I concentrated on what I was good at, good at understanding dynamics of airborne particles. Now my strength came in. What is that? Environmental physics and computational fluid mechanics. That is the area where I was somewhat uh, familiar with. And related public health hazards, that is epidemiology, now it was a chance for me to combine my area of engineering versus a little bit of medicine that is epidemiology so i combine these two areas now that is the plus point for me that is how i try to you know um, i i managed to you know come out with this paper two different fields merge into one so that uh, so that all people who are in these two areas would be able to read it and plan for a better journal with impact factor at least 10. So that was my, as I mentioned earlier, that was my idea. Look for a bigger target within many. And I targeted the Lancet infectious diseases. Impact factor was 25.1, the very big. Environmental International then, inter impact factor was 9.33. Science of the total environmental 10. And environmental research where I publish at the end, 6.5c started with 25.1 now left or maybe had to stop with 6.5 that is how the reality is so that is why you should start always from the top say supposing had i start with 6.5 definitely i would have stopped somewhere in 1.5 that i didn't want to happen targeted the review paper as many read that is very important so in your life you must at least write uh, you know, a review paper. So there you get a lot of citation. The first 10 of most cite, cited articles in many journals where I sat, ran through targeted were review papers. First 10 of most cited articles. So my, remember this was my first review paper in, in my whole career. I have never done any review paper with it. This was my first because I then understood need to go for review papers without which you're not going to, you know, get more citations. I wish I could have more than 24 hours per day. That was another thing that I felt at that time because 25 hours is not enough for me to finish. Continue working for 26 days continuously more than 12 hours a day. Now this is my achievement, right? And I, I told you, Things never come easy. So you have to, you know, work pretty hard. So I work 26 days continuously, more than 12 hours. All right. And kept away always from slow runners, 
injured and predators, uh, the predators, but be ready for the final battle with strong colleagues. So then for me, Hassani for data and information retrieval, Buddhika for critical review, Jagat for proofreading. So I have a right, uh, you know, the group for me to go ahead. Then learned a lot from a peer. And as I mentioned, I went through all the review papers published by Metika because Metika has done a quite a lot of uh, research, uh, the review papers with Sri Lankans because she has the Sri Lankan accent with her and very junior colleagues, right? At least uh, uh, th th 20 years junior to me, but she is, uh, you know, ranked the second most uh, between the, the, among the second most cited researchers globally. So uh, one of the, one of the very good accolades uh, she possessed, but I learned a lot basically going through that. So I'm not shameful to say that, right? Because I learned from Mithika what she has published, how to do a research paper, because as this is going to be my first, most importantly, launch the final tactics the others were poor at. My tactics was this, graphical presentation in 3D with Coral Draw and MS Paint and selection of the right journal covering both environmental and medical fraternities because I want all these two categories to read what I write. So therefore for that one, I had to you know, select right uh, journal. Right, so therefore for that, I had to you know, select the right journal. So these two were in fact my, what I thought I should focus on. So then for that, what is important? I have to have an approach. So my first approach for the first thing is carrot and stick approach for the better sketches because time is limited. And then what I did was I got Hassani to find out uh, who can do the job for me. And I found that Hassani helped me to find a person and sent a sketch and got one dummy done and had idea. Then I understood that she could be able to do proper job, offered monetary reward for quick job. And finally I paid rupees 85,000 rupees, I paid from my pocket. So I wanted to do this, right? But now I understood that it is more than, you know, what I, more, in, in fact, I reap more than what I spent. So that is exactly what I did. So why 85,000, you will understand later. And corrected, sent back more than 25 times, right? Hasini is joining here. You can ask Hasini. Hasini will let you know corrected and sent back more than, you know, to and fro 25 times, more than 25 times. Check for every minor detail many a times, many times it went up and down. Change resolutions to quite a bit to a high level. Each figure took more than 24 hours. Each figure took more than 24 hours of detailing. It was not an easy job. There were times where the expert has given up. She has given up sometimes. Then I managed to, you know, you know, basically to bring him, bring her back uh, on the track. And then she started working again because it was not an easy job. Got a few times uh, compatible issues, but got them resolved. And final version were done with about 20 days of continuous untiring artwork. And I always give my credit to Hasini because without Hasini, I would have not done this one. So that is why you need people of this caliber, without which you are not going to, you know, perform, right? So therefore, I managed to do it because of hustle, right? So I got some gains after pains. It was not easy. So then I came out with something never expected by even myself, but with extreme happiness for a relaxed mindful. So that I was so happy to, you know, to come out with this because I knew that nobody has done something like that. This is one of the pictures, right? If you look at this one, so every dot, every dot she had to, you know, draw according to my, you know, the uh, advisors, instructions, because I have looked at all the, the pictures, past pictures uh, using, uh, you know, this, uh, the modeling work, uh, the modeling uh, work uh, people have done using the fluid uh, mechanics. 
and I just wanted to simulate the same simple by hand. Now these are using this uh, software. You have you have done it, but it's not. It was not easy. Every meter, if you look at every meter along this x-axis, I had something in my mind, and I changed this many many times, many many times for me to get this final thing. But if you do this one using this uh, modeling you're basically going to get this type of results so that was my idea so that i was so happy to go ahead with uh, the with her and then did it same here all right but i'm not going to i have no detail and no time to go to go through and if you look at uh, these two if you look at this and that now here you have let's say x number of here it is 30 percent less that is how I 30% uh, more. So that is how I drew because whenever you have this, uh, uh, the surgical mass, more than 30% remains in the environment, right? So that is what I have, you know, just basically simulated. So it was very really easy. So that she did it pretty well. And how it looks in in an airplane, I explained, and these are all the, 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 the whatever these flow lines are pretty accurate. They are pretty accurate. Many times I change. Every line is drawn, you know, by her using hand. Every line, because one line is different from others. One line is different from others. So therefore, it took this picture took more than three days for her to finish. Same in the car. How it goes? This is exactly perfect. Why I want to go for this one? Because say, for example, if a reader looks at at that time. He was, in fact, astonished, amazed to see this one. So therefore, definitely they want to, in fact, uh, cite my paper. That was the reason for me to, you know, go ahead. Because otherwise, I could have done it with, with my sketches. Then they are not going to be good enough. So they are not going to, you know, get my citation, uh, what I have got today. This is how it is going to be in a hospital, right? So that is my first work my first work is i i manage now what you need to do is still remember how i fail in selecting the proper journal through elsevier journal find right first time i fail why i use the what is called this journal finder elsevier has this facility whenever you have your title and abstract you just plug in and the elsevier suggest you a probable journals, which I believe we should not do, because it is not going to give you the right stuff all the time. So what I got was science of the total environment. At that time, five articles similar to mine. And second best was the, the environmental research, two articles similar to mine. So obviously, my first choice is to first one, right? But what I want was, it wasn't it a discouraging note? If you look at this, this is exactly what I got from them. They say that publishing a story is becoming increasingly competitive as there is limited space in the journal. With this in view, we have to prioritize papers that we publish and some good quality articles sometimes cannot be accommodated. We are unable to consider the paper for publication at this time because of the following now they have given one list and when i look at what is appropriate to me was last one it says this may be a good paper but student has published several similar papers on similar or related topics and we think that it contributes little new knowledge to an international audience and is more appropriate for a regional or local journey now i'm back to the square i was not sure what to do because i expected this to be published but apparently they the editor told that they have published because i as i mentioned there were five articles not exactly the same they were looking at different but they consider that this is since it is coming from uh, usually you know developing world developing countries always you know we are getting stepmother's treatment. So that is very obvious because I'm not blaming the editor himself. So that is, we should expect all the time. So then what I did, then similar experience in the same journal, 
waste of 4.5 months. I'm showing this again. This is my second paper that I did the same, right? I did the same thing. Second paper on, on uh, COVID-19, I sent the same and I got the same results. This was, I got it after 4.5 months, after two rounds of reviews. Reviewer one says the text has been satisfactorily re revised. Reviewer two says same as above, but I did everything what uh, they have mentioned. So therefore remember, if the editor wants to reject, he can have thousand ways of, you know, means of rejecting your paper. There is no argument as such. But unfortunately, I lost 4.5 months down the line. That is obvious, but only thing is you should not get discouraged. So that is what, that's why I have shown this one and uh, now I have published in another journal and Science of the Total Environment has second time rejected this paper without proper reasons. And I corrected all what they have wanted, but apparently rejected. So again, gains after this, gains after pain, what I want to say is came out with a strategy now that nobody thought to me, nobody thought to me, but I went through almost all uh, good quality journals and I wanted to, you know, find out how should I, you know, find the, a good uh, proper journal. So then at that time I was in never give up feeling with anguish over failure. Obvious, every one of you is going to be like this, like this leopard. I was, you know, completely down. But what I important thing is this. Remember, I had the thirst for a quality publication, but that drove me fast, pushed me hard, and drowned me deep in this subject. So that helped me a lot. So that's why I always tell you, in fact, uh, believe in you, never give up. You are going to you know, get what you want at the end. So my gray hair splitting approach in selecting the right choice for the right journal after failure. Now, this is what I did. I failed, but I never stopped it. But what I did was look for other prospective journals where similar topics are covered. Aims and scopes of journals, always you have to read them. And, but not much article published. Remember, if you are going to find less than five articles in whatever the area you are thinking of, fine. But if you find more than, let's say five rule of thumb only, you don't try to you know take a chance because you're not going to get your your publication there because enough uh, the publications are there on that particular and also look at the the percentage of acceptance and always i would be happy to go more than 15 percent and then i selected lancet infection disease environmental international environmental research out of 20 journals i selected initially 20 of 20 i just screened them down to three matching the aims and more than 15 percent acceptance so that is one of the criteria for me to you know go for these three but drop the journals where the giants have already published that was i had to be i had to be mindful now moraswa at that time again another giant is uh, bonano g and kumapi all three are you know the top giants in this area only they have published in many so uh, what i did was i dropped all of them no point because editors know all of these people so therefore the moment i you know submit more or less the same definitely it will be rejected only left with a uh, lancet uh, the infectious disease and environment research, research but international environment international is uh, one of the journals where the morasawa has submitted so i uh, you know drop that because editors in chief compare minnows and whales wild berries and blueberry i don't want to be a minnow i don't want to be a wild berry so because of that i did not you know submit i did not select a journals in which giants publish drop the journal with limitations there are some limitations like the the ach for the lands lancet family remember rupees 1 million 5000 us dollars right it is beyond our reach but I targeted why I wanted it because I, I need to learn. Maximum page limit is there, word limit is there. Sometimes also you have a British style of uh, manuscript uh, preparation, sometimes American style. 
so in that case also you have to select the right uh, journal for what, whatever the style you have done your manuscript drop the journals with editors in chief having the same interest now i have dropped that as well why because they consider you coming from a developing world to be a minnow or a wild berry because he since he is a giant because he knows his subject right editors always thinks like that so therefore how much good your paper is you are considered to be a minnow or a wild berry if they do not know your subject they pass it to a co-editor but situation may be different with the co-authors coming from the developed world now say for example i got dr ajivan china in the environmental research he uh, she seems to be fairly understandable so then i prepare my cover letter to her to dr ajay uh, ajay wang right one of the chinese uh, it, it, uh, she is actually co editors in chief only choice left at that time was for me environmental research because all the others i have to scrap because of certain limitations then went ahead and cited some articles from environmental research that is what you should do if you select to publish in environmental research i must add some citation from the environmental research into my paper but i was in a bad wicket why there wasn't a single paper that i could find from environmental research so meaning that i have zero citation from this journal what to do i took a challenge then came up with a very strong justification in the cover letter that is what i did believe that i did my job i had a very strong cover letter with my justification and then came up with a spell binding graphical abstract highlights and strong abstract believe i did my job right so that is what i did it because i didn't have any citations from this particular journal itself right and then justification in the cover letter now this is what i have this is exactly part of my uh, you know the cover letter that i put it here so later i'm not going to read everything what i did was i did not use any technical jargon no in other words no technical jargon because i want this particular editor to understand each and every word that i put in and use keywords in the subject area that i look at whether she could understand in her purview these whatever the keywords i use some of them not a single typos no grammatical errors i manage somehow or other to make sure that there is no typo there is no grammatical errors right and then there is a novelty clearly enumerated Why, where my novelty as far as this paper is concerned i have very clearly informed in fact uh, written here if you read it you will be able to understand so that is something that i manage and um, uh, for me to you know write uh, this uh, cover letter i took 24 hours i took 24 hours many 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 times changing and final version took me 24 hours because that was one of my arteries if i don't do this i'm pretty sure that people are going to reject this time as well i don't want to be a failure this time so i managed so now this is the abstract now if you look at this you know it is a bit of the best you know the uh, drawings that i have prepared and to get the spell binding look and also the entire abstract in one you know the uh, let's say a drawing and attractive colors and it has to be clearly visible so therefore this was very high resoluted uh, resolution figure so therefore every file now this is not very high resolution that is what you are not going to see very clearly but all what i submitted very high resolution very high resolution because sasini uh, you know managed to you know get me a very high resolution figures that is what i sent so therefore that helped me a lot you know to come out with entire story in one picture that was given well and then let's see how i commence i have now several hurdles now i have been you know basically i was uh, i managed to go to a near the water but still i can't drink why alligators are there so that is the picture that i shown here that is my first hurdle assigning a manuscript number if the editor assigns 
you a manuscript manuscript number meaning that you have you know jumped the first hurdle or conquered your first hurdle i know now there is a likelihood of getting my thirst pinch now i know that i can get something out of this now this is the uh, email that i got it from the editor and then you can be able to see that uh, he says the the manuscript has been assigned a number er 202236 i was still now so then what is my next my second hurdle my second hurdle is review comments arrived within 26 days within 26 days i got the review comments i conquered now thirst is quenched only to a certain extent but not fully so i but i managed to you know get a little bit of water, water. see i have got some you know the uh, comments so now i'm thrilled because i got comments so the night knew that there was a chance of getting this published so if you look at this right other than this i got very minor correction but look at the first reviewer the paper is very interesting the second reviewer says this review on the covid 19 this is actually their own words is very comprehensive and it addresses a lot of aspects related to pandemic the authors provide a lot of information about the risk of exposure to this new virus. Right. So that is why I say I managed to combine two areas, engineering and medicine, combine two to give something as uh, something new. That is why I got these two comments from these two reviewers. So don't get de dejected. See what this uh, the editors the editor in chief of the science of the total uh, environment uh, you know sent me and this is what i got from the environmental research so two different so therefore always you may be in a good record so therefore you need not to worry right so the now now i have to fight you know the face the final head final decision arrived conquered meaning that my full thirst is quenched see i'm very very happy you know resting on a tree so that is exactly what you want i would be happy to see every one of you being you know in this portion this is what we want now this is the email that i got in and i was so happy on that particular day because it was accepted after a long long battle after long long battle I managed to do it. So therefore, this is my story as far as this particular paper is concerned. But for me to go to this, I follow this. This is exactly what you should do. The way forward for fruitful inferences. 14 things you should know, right? You should be something different. And you see that this leopard is different. With your eyes open, you have to you know, see all of them and then only you are going to you know get something out of this look at this this is exactly what you require what most of you do not know or even you do know but you take it for granted so remember very important stuff find your com comfortable zone in the new areas of research of global concern never do something which is only applicable for our region or or maybe within two three countries or even to sri lanka always try to you know plan something that is applicable globally type keywords in scopus for recent years never engage in areas that have been sufficiently served by others don't try to do because it may be the very first time in sri lanka for you very good research but no point because i suffer a lot of similar exercises i did it i i was so happy that i did for the first time in sri lanka but when you go uh, publishing you understand that people have done it 10 years back so no point example is for 2022 if you go for the science of the total environment yeah when you're looking at the biochar uh, it is actually a kind of a keyword that i put in and a trust area biochar if it is addressed what you should do is you should do research on modeling of biochar behavior biochar interactions 
biochar collides, uh, colloids and biochar impregnation, biochar composites, biochar mediated remediation for emerging contaminants, biochar mediated carbon sequestration, biochar for reduction in global warming. Those are the key areas where you can you should work as far as the biochar is concerned, but don't do don't concentrate on biochar production. All gone. Characterization already done. Simple wastewater treatment with biochar almost done. Limitations done. Review on biochar material done. So therefore, you should not concentrate on those aspects, but what is given above, uh, that is what you should you know, concentrate. So for that, how you should know, read it, read it. You improve your knowledge and then only you're going to you know, find it out. Otherwise, you're not going to find it out. Second one, attempt at least one review paper for a year. That can impact the society. Don't write a review paper just for the sake of writing. Try to impact the society. Select the best trust area from your comfortable zone. Earlier, above, under number one, you find your comfortable zone. And from that, find out the trust area. For example, now these are the most trust areas in many journals. Desalination by not RO. It is gone now forward osmosis, not reverse osmosis. Now we are working on forward osmosis. Microplastics in different compartments in soil, transfer from soil to water, water to air. So that is what we are looking at. Even in the, uh, you know, the uh, human beings, you do that. Uh, machine learning applica applications in the particular sector, very important for everybody now. Deep learning application in the particular sector. So that is very, very important. Follow the key areas stipulated in well-reputed journals. That is very, very important. See the example overleaf in Lancet Digital Health. Now see, I just want to, you know, see one example, this. Now see, this is the trust areas that you can be able to, you know, just work out. Uh, Lancet, uh, the, uh, one of the, pay, one of the uh, journals, and Lancet Digital Health, where everybody can be able to fit in. Look at the impact. It, it reached more than 84 million annual visits, 141 million downloadable articles, and it has more than 1.9 million followers. That is why everybody wants to, you know, try to, you know, write here, the impact factor is 24, 24.519, uh, right? And look at the areas. My trust areas, I always read it. You look at, the, I'm not going to go one by one. So down, the trust areas are defined. Now I know that I should, you know, go for that one. It does not mean that I'm going to, you know, publish in the same journal. But if you read from, from this one, if this is going to fit my trust area, I am pretty sure that I can publish that even in the other journals. If this is possible, all the other journals that are much lower than this are going to you know accept that is the reason that is why you're going to you know select you know from reputed journals so therefore always you must be able to do this one that would help you a lot say for example i'm not going to you know just do it only that i have given a try now this is something that i have done thereafter a short communication exactly following the same with a very renowned person from Neville Johnson from Australia. It's on dentistry with another dental doctor. So I combine engineering versus dentistry. Very easy. Very easy for you to you know publish in a good uh, reputed journals. But I just wanted to you know go for the short communication that I did it exactly following this. Then Number three, but no chance in future. Remember, only for review. Learn, then learn to succeed. There is no word here in after review paper, right? You would have hardly seen anything. What is important is that you need to go with a systematic review and meta analysis. That is what you see all the time. For which, what? What is important is to you know follow Prisma guidelines. Without knowing Prisma guidelines, you are not in a position to do it. So therefore you need to follow this. And I have given uh, the checklist, uh, the title, how to write, abstract, rational, introduction, methods, results, everything is given here, but I'm showing on the first page. 
please go to this website, read it. If you read this, definitely you can be able to do a proper review paper. For me, I did this. I, I did everything based on this. So therefore, in future, without uh, you know going through this, you are not going to you know have any paper published. So therefore, particularly review papers, always you follow the Prisma guidelines. Number four says never try a review if you cannot figure out something new from a set of old data and information. Because whenever you put, you know, just go ahead with the review, meaning that you are using someone else's data, but you need to show something new to the world. For that, what is important, you need data mining, machine learning for better relations of data, deep learning for pattern recognition, mean basically AI course for the beginners. For that, I recommend for you to you know, follow the Coursera courses, for example, machine learning by Stanford University, over 4 million students enrolled, already enrolled. Start, it's going to start on September, it's not 13, 14, November, uh, 4th, September 14, 2021, right? Maybe tomorrow. Free of charge, sometimes you will be able to get free of charge and see the overhaul. And I would like you to do four courses. This is what I mastered. First course is this, right? This is, this says, the how to this is learning how to learn because you have you don't have the mindset you don't have the mindset to do what i you know what i have been now telling you know just follow this amazing amazing you learn a lot of methods how to motivate yourself new techniques that have been used in the world now these are the best courses in the world so therefore, I would be happy if you can, you know, follow this. Definitely, you will learn, you know, how to, you know, manage or master tough subjects, right? Already, three million students have followed, including ourselves. Now, even I am going to be, you know, one of the students. I have been following, right? So therefore, remember, this is what is most important. This will basically give you in the nutshell the big picture how we are going to do your big picture so that without that you are not going to you know achieve the best results impactful research is very difficult and then we can go to the next course the next course is this scholarly communication you know it is very important for you to write uh, what you have in your mind or what you have found out but most of us are not going to write it properly. So follow this course. This explains everything, everything, right? Already 17,000 people, more than 17,000 people have, you know, studied, right? Because our English is not native. So therefore you should be able to do. So this is exactly, you know, for journal writing. This is exactly for, it's not simple English, but for journal writing, if you follow this one, you never make any mistakes. Your mistakes are going to be not, I would say zero, but less than 10%. So I did this one. It gave you, you know, enormous knowledge, how to, you know, come out with a good scientific paper, right? That helps you a lot. Then comes the next one. Every one of, every one of us is talking of data. But if you ask, you know, to do a simple statistic analysis, we don't know how to do it, right? We may not be able to do it. So therefore it is very important for us to, you know, just do the right stuff. So therefore this is one of the best courses. This is called inferential statistics, how to come to conclusions using statistics. So therefore it will be good if you can, you know, just follow this course as well, because without knowing your statistics there is no research in future right even the the uh, the review paper you need statistics without that you can't do it so this is a must and the last one is this machine learning you need to know the machine learning because the machine learning helps you come out with uh, you know the uh, different thing that you can't see you will be able to see from this so therefore 
you have to do right this course has been done more than 4.3 million students million people so 4.3 so see everybody understand the importance so i have bios machine learning in my analysis so that would help me a lot because you see a lot of patterns if you know your machine learning but what you can't see with other techniques and also the another one at the same time i would like to say uh, that this is again another one that you should remember one of the you know the languages you must be able to do because most of these things you hear in after you can't do without knowing a language and i would uh, be happy if you want you can use r or maybe python is one of the best if you can you, you know be able to you know do so therefore try to you know do it uh, Okay, something has happened. I think you can hear me, right? Can you hear me? Yes, Mahesh, we can hear you. Ah, okay, right. Thank you. Okay, so, so therefore, that is... You can switch on the video now. No, no, no problem, no problem. So that's all right. Right, so, okay. So then when you're looking at the... the uh, that is what I said, this number four, right? And then you go to uh, the number five. Future is bleak if you are not conversant of at least one computer language for data handling. Python or R would be most uh, prominent. Uh, you can be able to see so that I have already shown you. So keep in mind these four courses. I would advise you if you can go for these courses, if you can follow, it's not very expensive, but uh, that would give you amazing results. You think you know completely different and you become completely a different person. So then number six, go for renowned authors with many accolades who can seriously contribute to your paper. And I believe getting a one on board with even a little experience publishing in high impact factor journals is much better than one with many papers in low impact factor journals, right? So therefore, try to grab a person who has published, uh, you know, in high impact journals. That is simple as such. Average author per paper. If you look at Elsevier, you get three to four, right? But if you get Lancet for 2021, 26, all review papers, all papers, not only review others, see the authorship, 26, science, 25.5, nature, 50 for 2021, right? Why? Why you want to you know, have these numbers? To give a quality paper. You are not going to you know, do only one study in one country. You are now going to do many studies. Uh, you know, um, I would say may, may, more or less the same study in many countries. So you get a lot of authors coming in, right? A lot of authors coming in. So therefore, you need to have you know, a method by which you select your right authors. This is the best paper that I found for that. You can download this from internet. From the plus plus is one of the important stuff, important journal, and it gives ten simple rules for collaborating, writing a multi-author paper. See how many people look at this from different countries. And what I like in this one is the last one. M A F is the lead author. All authors contributed equally to this work. Besides from MAF, author order was computed randomly. See, that author is on random basis, right? Why? Because of this. Ten rules. There is a ten rule. He has the, the team has proposed the ten rules. Uh, in, that was in 2018. One of the best papers. You must read this. Then you will help. Definitely this will help identify the right co-authors look at the rules build your writing team wisely if you take a lead provide the leadership now always i i become the leader whenever i write so i always took the leadership create a data management plan jointly decide 
on authorship guidelines, decide on a writing strategy, choose digital tools to suit your need. That is what I told earlier. Very important. Without that, nowadays, no papers. Set clear timelines and adhere to them. Be transparent throughout the process. Cultivate equity, diversity, and inclusion. Consider the ethical implications of your uh, the uh, authorship. So that is co-authorship. That is why they have selected on random basis, right? So when it comes to equal contributions. Okay. So read this paper. Definitely, you will be able to learn a lot, right? I would advise this is the paper and you can download, the, you can read it and that help you select the right paper, right? So that is for the number six. And then what is most important is next one for us, stick to the professional language. If you and your co-authors are not fully conversant of the art of preparation of manuscripts, we believe that we are very good at English. But when you send this to a person or maybe a company who does professionally, then only you will learn that you are nowhere. You got to stick to either American or British, but I found many art always to come out with mix. That is where we got stuck. And remember, in that case, you can look for somebody who can help you. Now, this is where I got myself you know, uh, always, uh, uh, you know, uh, well, this is where I get, you know, my stuff checked called kjsupport.com. You go to internet, you can be able to find one of the best company who did this. But remember one page with approximately 450 words, that is one and a half per spacing, you get 450 words uh, per page approximately for one page of that. Uh, you know, type of words, you get US dollars 6.95, let's say seven US dollars per page. So 16 page manuscript, that is you need to send them from, you know, from introduction only up to conclusion, you're not going to send the rest. So for 16 uh, page manuscript, they say they sent you within 72 hours. Now in my case, I got exactly within one and a half days. See the overlay, and this is, I just want to, you know, just show you. This is my paper. Now all, you know, you, there are two colors, green and green and, uh, you know, the purple. Now there are two people from that company corrected, right? They first asked whether you need American English or British English, and they asked which journal you are focusing at, and they corrected based on that. So that is what is most important thing. Now even look at here, they just wanted me to check the, the some of the spelling even here some of the spelling so they just put a comment say check if uh, if this should be nicolas what he, uh, what he has pointed correct i made a mistake there right so therefore you can go to uh, such an extent so that i have i believe that my english is good not my english even jagat thing jagat is actually one of our peers in writing and i did it uh, buddhika did it and also jagat did it but still you get lost. but it does not mean that our english is wrong but the way we write for that particular journal is pretty bad. So therefore you need, so I spent maximum uh, 25,000 rupees for this one. So you need it. Unfortunately, we are actually our, our, you know, the mother language is not English. So therefore we have to do it. So please do it if you are to do for a good journal, because if your English is poor, definitely it will be thrown out by editor. Go for a catchy title. That is very important. Make it simple, less technical jargons, not lengthy, curiosity generated, compose of popular keywords, broad as practical as possible, reflective of com uh, contents. So that is very important. Now for this, still you have to follow something. Now this is one of the best. How to write a great title. So go to this uh, internet. You will be able to see, they will tell you uh, again, from the plus, the uh, same journal, what you should do, what you should, shouldn't do is very clearly given there and examples also given there, right? I follow the same. I follow the same thing when I, you know, came out with my titles. Look at this now. I started my title, Transmission of SARS-CoV-2 in there, a review on the ongoing debate. So finally, I found 
you know that this word is not good a review right so that i just change it to critical review right and ongoing debate is a bad word so then by the time i publish it may not be ongoing so then the best word for me was at that time i thought unresolved dichotomy so therefore i had interim title of this but still i was so worried sars co2 is very very i would say specific at that time people were not aware sometimes some people so particularly engineering people medical people were, uh, were actually aware of that so instead of that what i did was i wrote it covid 19 virus same thing but it little lengthy but i made it like covid 19 virus so that even the engineers or maybe the those who are in the science field would be able to understand so that is how i you know came out with my title follow that particular paper right follow that particular paper so that would help you a lot so i would advise you to read that particular paper this one right all what i have given here and then definitely you will be able to come out with your the better title and then goes to next read the top rated global scientific magazines for knowledge updates example nature briefing weird and then and also science briefing i read all three i read every week or every three days they send me something and i'm going to read most of what is important for me because they are the best of the world this now this is very recent one a kid and covid why young immune systems are still on top why they have been you know referring to all the good journals so therefore you learn a lot from this reading this and not only that you learn a lot of new words you will enhance your vocabulary and uh, this is another one a famous honesty researcher is retracting a study over fake data you must read this because if you use something very fake you will also fall into the same category all right for you not to get into this category must read this one from the science this is from the nature and again this is my the best article that i have ever read up to now from nature the covid lab leak hypothesis what scientists do and don't do don't know right do know and don't know so very interesting 19 page article written by a one uh, uh, you know two uh, ordinary people right fantastic you learn a lot so that help you you know figure out your some of your studies therefore don't that's why i say that never ever read you know the normal blogs they may be right they may not be right okay and then again very important read a couple of similar papers only on high impact journal what you're going to do you try to read what is appearing in only high impact journals example now for me why i read is because i read this aerosol and surface stability of sars cov 2 as com uh, compared with the sars cov 1 2020 the new england journal of medicine impact practice 91.25 cited by 700 7672 in google's google schooler up to now this is one now you have heard that the virus covid 19 virus is only a couple of hours active uh, you know uh, you know in uh, steel or maybe in uh, cardboard or maybe on air how you know from this paper so that is why you get this much of uh, you know the uh, the citation because everybody reads this everybody reads it. even in my paper i have cited this that is a plus point because then editors or the people who read uh, reviewers know that i know my current knowledge i am equipped with my stuff so therefore it is very important for you to you know read uh, whatever the articles the best articles appearing in your area then number 11 need continuous attention to retrieve what each author says right now you have quotas many people are feeding you of different stuff then one has to check the extracted version otherwise twisted meaning now when i ask uh, in fact my you know the interns i ask them to copy exactly what appears in the paper and send me it is me who is going to you know write in my own language because if i ask the intern to do it definitely interns will twist the meaning 
So therefore, when I abstract what she says or he writes, definitely I'm going to get something new or which is not in that paper because you have no, 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 no time to read each and every paper by yourself. So therefore, you have to have a strategies to do that. So best strategy would be ask your interns to send the same thing copied 100%, one-to-one. It is you who is going to understand it and change into your own language. That is a very important thing. Otherwise, I have seen a lot of mistakes. That's why there are a lot of corrections after submission, after publishing. Uh, pu after publishing, you see that a lot of corrections are being done. Right? So that is not going to be there if you pay attention to number 11. Number 12 is go for only last five year information, if necessary, maximum 10 years. Producing outdated or obsolete information is of no use. Many journals won't accept such articles. So therefore, keep that in mind. Going beyond that is nowadays is very, very difficult. So therefore, I would say in my case, I always go for last five years, but sometimes I will go for 10 years. Say, for example, if you can find anything within five years. And number 13 is what I have seen in lacking in interns, colleagues, and peers. Statistical data represent, representation. Everybody is going to do every time the t-test, which is wrong. Many have no proper idea of presenting summarized version statistically. That's why I would like you to refer, you know, do that course that I earlier shown. Do it by yourself. You must understand. It, it does not mean that you are going to do by yourself, but you have the knowledge. If you have the knowledge, you are going to ask your interns to do. But if interns does something wrong, you are in a position to correct. But if you have no idea, remember, nobody is going to correct. So ultimately, it will go to the publication. But if publisher or maybe the reviewer doesn't understand or uh, if the reviewer miss, it basically be published late. A reader is going to identify you will be in trouble. You don't know because then in that case, Remember, you have to retract your paper. I would, I don't think that you should come into that uh, pitfall. So therefore, be attacked or be knowledgeable of, of all what is required for a research paper or review paper. And 14, last one, need to provide all information, analysis, etc. in supplementary material. Nowadays, everybody is asking, but you are very scared to provide what you have done. But in my case, I provide everything, even the coding. Even the coding I provide. Why? I want to show them that I have done this so that uh, anybody can be able to, you know, look at. So threat this. Somebody can be able to go through it. If it is wrong, you have to retract your paper. That's what I have shown earlier. In the blog, uh, one very famous, uh, you know, the writer has retracted uh, one paper. Same, same thing has happened in the Lancet. Right, so a couple of months back, one paper has been retracted on the wrong uh, wrong data. So this is very important. And mind you, you have to secure all your data for at least three years from the date of publication because anybody can inquire your paper for a for three years, and then you need to answer. Otherwise, that paper is going to be retracted. You can't say that I I have lost my data. So therefore, please keep all you know, within yourself in a repository for three years, that is an essential as far as the papers are concerned. So you have to do all these 14. If you reach 14, now you are in a better place to start off, uh, the, you know, by yourself. So therefore, now it is your turn to make our country proud by being, remember, not a lazy, but an agile leopard. It is your turn now. Thank you very much. I do believe that we can be able to, you know, take up a couple of questions. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mahesh. Uh, that was really excellent. And I suppose, uh, yeah, letting out the tiger in you, coming from the leopard yes. country. Yes. So the, um, right, uh, we can take a few questions, but it, it's fine taking some time. Um, I think it was a really a very important presentation. Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, all uh, that have been inspired by uh, or received really good ideas to follow. I think we can take hopefully a couple of questions, maybe. I think the second author is there. 
wonder whether of course, of course she is there so that i ask her to be ready something, you know in a way of yes ask her how she you know had the sip of the you know this uh, sleepless nights and she has basically given up uh, during a certain period but all of quick to... questions go ahead yes there are some chat box ajit you can take some of them up i think better uh, you prasa mahesh uh, i am iresha here from the open university yes dr iresha uh, so uh, i have seen one of your slides uh, you said uh, deploy your best tactics right yes uh, so i would like to ask you just for my curiosity for this particular paper what was your best uh, tactic was it the uh, selecting the topic or selecting co authors or selecting providing very high quality uh, graphs and figures and all sort of thing what is your best tactic when i went through i found that the representation of the figures 3d figures were missing so therefore what i am now going to do is i just at that time we just wanted to say what happen if you just go on a car how does it affect the people right so that you cannot you know just produce without 3d so therefore the graphical representation is number 1 the number 2 was uh, selecting the right journal where you know the both environmentalist or environmental scientist and medical uh, you know practitioners both read so that was my challenge at that time so the rest is not a, a big challenge for me because i i knew my engineering so i used them in explaining because i i took it so even the sri lankan cases i explained clearly using that so my challenge was these two so it was i believe because of this my 3d graphical representation that i'm getting these uh, citations because when a person goes to and it goes to their mind and hit it hitters so then definitely they make it a point to read my my article and then they cite okay thank you yeah Yes, Adit. If you have any more, if you, if somebody wants to take it up. Uh, anyone is able to ask questions from the quarter or quarters? Uh, it's time to ask questions or clarifications or to get more information or something. Yeah, uh, this is Asita. Uh, yes, sir. I'm from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. One uh, thing I would like to, uh, I mean, ask from you, uh, Professor Mahesh. You said, I mean, what is the data collection and management framework that you use? Maybe like a like a very quick, uh, like an idea to get an idea of, I mean, how to manage uh, this data collection process with the Prisma in mind. Say, for example, whenever you have uh, the numerical data, you need to basically go for machine learning. nowadays without machine learning you may not be able to publish because my second paper is that but in this paper most of them are information so therefore what i did was i asked uh, hasani to collect all the papers that are that she could find as far as this topic is concerned she what she did was she collected everything and sent me and then i put it into different different you know the uh, i would say uh, uh, the uh, sectors for me to understand because when you look at uh, the paper i have put them into one uh, table and when you look at the table there you will understand because most of what people have done i had to summarize in one table for that you need to summarize the summary the summary summary was prepared based on the prisma guideline because if you just follow me i have the book of uh, what uh, the prisma is all about there is a book uh you know with uh, i think 17 uh, chapters i went through everything so that guide you how to put the someone else knowledge onto a summary from which you gather something out if you do not know that you can't do it so therefore that is why i would like all of you to read this you know the prisma guidelines that help you a lot right that is the challenge that is the art of expressing yourself taking from others you must do that okay i hope i, I uh, thank you very much professor mahesh yeah i uh, 
that was a good presentation. Uh, I'm from uh, University of Sri Java, Nepal. I'm Dilanta. Yes, and sir. my question is, how when you are working so much, how do you deal with all the fatigue? And you know, like when when you're keeping on reading the same document over and over, sometimes the errors become invisible. And uh, how do you how like, like like even a book when you write the book? You have to get away from the book and then return after about a week to see the errors that you couldn't see before. So what is your strategy for auto fatigue? What I did was, in fact, I collected everything from uh, Hasini from Jayavadanapur University. She sent me everything. I am the one who wrote the first thing, first draft. I did not invite other two colleagues to join. And I finished everything by myself. And after that, I sent to, uh, you know, Professor Buddhika, she went through and she, what, whatever she, you know, basically uh, found, she, you know, sent me back. Now, say, always I use my wording called career. Career is, I, 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 I wrote the wrong, uh, the wording. I couldn't see. You are 100% correct. So once I corrected with, uh, you know, uh, Professor Buddhika, I uh, basically sent everything to Professor Jagat. Professor Jagat, has absolutely no idea about this paper. He, he has absolutely no idea the technicality of this. Why I selected Professor Jagat is to go through this and correct, put everything, the tone right, technically, right? So he's looking at that, it's not only the English, it is, you know, the, uh, the jargon, and then whether I have put the right stuff in the right place, he has been going through that. And once it is done, then not only that, even I send this to the KJ supports. The, 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 there is a company who has been done. He's actually, it is uh, based on, uh, you know, Hong Kong. So they are going to go through it because if you want to target a very good, you know, the uh, journal, you need that. But otherwise you don't need that. If you are good at your English, perhaps you may be able to send it. But I did not want to, you know, take a chance. Because uh, I knew that at that time, uh, this is going to, you know, get something out. Because I spent a lot of money. I mean, I spent a lot of money. So then why not another 25,000? It, it was not a problem for me at that time. So I did it because from that I learned. And not only that, even I have been using all right throughout the Grammarly professional version. Grammarly helps me come out with American English right. All, you know, wordy stuff, I remove. Now, whenever you say both, uh, you know, let's say X and Y, they always cut the word both. There's no need. So likewise, I learn a lot from that as well, because every, uh, you know, the document that I do, I always, you know, just check it with Grammarly software. I hope I answered you. Uh, uh, partially, I, uh, you, your, your approach uh, uh, rings a bell with me also. Uh, but you know that this when it comes to books in particular, yeah. people take time away to come back to it, Definitely. because then they are fresh and they and they are able to kind of see the errors that they could not foresee before. I'm you know, so so you you don't uh, you don't take away say a week's time and then come back to the paper. No, so you cannot do it for a paper like this because you know the thing is. You know, there are so many people working in the same area. Now, say, since I'm working for the COVID-19, uh, you know, different areas, I had to be, you know, I had to be pretty fast. Now, so recently I started one area, but, uh, you know, the day before yesterday, when I went through, I found that the same thing has been published so that I have given up the entire thing that I started. So, therefore, that is why I need to be, you know, pretty quick in what I do as far as the COVID-19 is concerned. So therefore, in that case, uh, you know, I'm at a, you know, bad wicker. So what I do is sometimes when I start a paper, I work at least, uh, you know, uh, 15 hours continuously on that. Once I finish, then only I, I, I go to another. But other two are not working on it until I finish. Now I'm working, I'm, this is I'm working a paper with uh, Nilika. Uh, Professor Nilika, but uh, I'm not yet telling her what I'm writing. I'm now writing, I just want to finish it, and then only I'm going to share with her 
I'm doing the modeling of different variants uh, of concern in Sri Lanka. And once I do, then I'm, I just want her to go through my paper very critically. And then I'm going to change. I'm you know, prepared for that. Thank you. Uh, if anybody wants to, you know, get hold of uh, any details, you are welcome. You can contact me, uh, you know, at any time. Uh, so no problem at all. I'm at your disposal. Anything you want, I can be able to, if I know, I definitely can be able to, you know, pass it to you. Thank you, Ajit. Thank you. Uh, thank you again, uh, Professor Mahesh. Uh, and um, thanks for the input. Uh, really, uh, that was inspiring and so much of information to all of you. I'm sure you would have benefited from this. And let's uh, close another session with uh, Lighthouse Talks from Faculty of Graduate Studies, University of Moratua. Thank, thank you, you all. Yeah, thank you. Okay, and thanks for joining. And let's meet another day.